on everybody? How's everyone's Sunday going? <laughs> this is Uncovered with your host, Anthony Walker. That's me. Welcome, welcome to Uncovered, uh, my nightly, weekly show about shit I want to talk about. <laughs> uh, glad you guys tuned in today. Uh, it's really, really awesome to have your love and support. For everyone who's been tuning in to my past episodes, I hope you've really, really enjoyed them. Um, I know they kind of seem a little bit strong emotioned episodes. And that's only because of those topics that I had, you know, that I really, really wanted to talk about. So I got them out, right? Um, but I think you guys are going to like this episode. This episode um, is more of a relaxed filler episode, you know, like for you guys who watch Japanese anime or like Game of Thrones, you know, like four of the episodes out of the six Either the 10 from the from the season are like filler episodes and you're only just talking about like the most random ass shit and I'm like oh, why am I even watching this you know but but that's not how this one is gonna be hopefully this I this is not how this one's gonna be um this episode is a little filler episode it's a little bit um uh, more of a um personal fun episode I guess just kind of giving you a little detail about me in a sense um well not so much as just me anyway this is kind of about fetishes that i have um and for people who know me i have a couple of them but none are more so um prevailing than the underwear fetish <laughs> so um that's what this episode is going to be about me talking to you guys about the underwear that I actually have. Um, I have quite a few. I'm not going to go into detail about all of them, but I'm going to just kind of let you guys know. Um, if you look here, courtesy of one of my best, best friends, um, now I fold all of my freaking underwear. It looks much better, you know. It, it just looks crisper and, and, and nice and, you know. So if you guys are interested in that, um maybe you should start you can like send them out and everything so i am going to start talking about them but give me one second i'll be right back all right what's going on guys i'm back so i have to get all of them out of the drawer uh <laughs> so that way i can kind of tell you a little bit about them um as i show them to you once i grab them from here so I'm going to start with uh, basically where I got the underwear from. Um, if a lot of you like the underwear, you can have your own pair. If you want your own pair, you know, um, the stores and uh, online websites that we got them from, you know, I'll let you guys know um, as I talk about each one. And also at the very end, I'll show you guys um, my favorite pair that I absolutely love. I actually have two, but I can't wear them both. So I have one of them on and then I, I can just tell you about the other one. Um, and then at the very end of this episode as well, I will announce the winner of the free pair of underwear from Love by Minnie, which is <laughs> someone I was not anticipating. Uh, so it's going to be really funny. And I think he's going to be really happy that he won the underwear as well. Uh, but yeah, so let me show you guys. All right. So, we'll start with this one. Um, um, Ralph Lauren. I mean, come on, it's Ralph Lauren. Can't really, really, really go wrong with them. The only thing about Ralph Lauren is that they, well, with this particular pair of underwear, is that um, it's not as tight as I like how I usually like them. Um, and then the legs kind of come down a little bit further than what I'm kind of getting used to liking more, but all in all, they're fucking awesome, right? Um, this came in a three pack. 
um, and I got it from Atlanta, Georgia. I was in Atlanta when I was living in Atlanta last year, or this year. <laughs> Should I move so much? I forget. Um, these don't really hold any significance. Uh, they were just on sale, I think, and I was like, oh, well, I need some Ralph Lauren, so I guess I'll go ahead and, you know, get some new polos. So, yeah, those are those. Um, this particular pair of underwear is uh, B Sport. <laughs> and doesn't, like, look how symmetrical it is. Doesn't it just look like a, 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 a tablecloth, a napkin, or something like you just sit on your table and you just like, you know, like it's, it's freaking awesome. And the thing I love about them is that they expand uh, once you put them on, so it kind of conforms to the body. It's really, really awesome. Um, the material is a, uh, it's a weird material. Like, I don't really know what it is. Um, I don't even think they have it in here. Oh, it's micro model, 90% micro model. This was like the first time that I ever even heard of this, but I absolutely love them because of the way they conform to your, your body. So, I mean, you can be as skinny as me or kind of a little bigger, and they and they just work. They just they just they make they look really really good. And holds everything in place. Um, I got this pair uh, from my best friend um, from Oxford, Mississippi. Um, so for any of you guys watching who live in Oxford, where did he get them from? Um, I think they were some factory, some store that has a name. It's not Burlington Factory, Coat Factory. It's another type of factory. I think, it, I don't know, but that's been the only place. So uh, yeah, maybe you can find them online. I'm sure you can probably just go on and type in V-Sport underwear and um, Amazon, eBay, they have every fucking thing. <laughs> um, this pair is toot or T-O-O-T -O -O or T chain T. It's a weird, weird thing. Um, this is Asian. These are Asian underwear. Well, most of them are made in China and, and everything anyway. Asiatic in some way, form, or fashion. Um, this was also bought by the same best friend. He he's he's one of the reasons why my underwear fetish has like recently surfaced and has become just crazy. <laughs> uh, this was part of, as well as about eight other ones that you will see was a part of a Christmas gift that he bought. Um, I think he got a total of maybe like 12, 13, maybe, maybe 15 max uh, for a really, really good deal. Um, you can find them on eBay, Amazon. Uh, like I said, Amazon has everything. And they're inexpensive and they're really, really nice. Like, and if you're like me, you have a swimmer's body, you know, type of that type of build, these are perfect, you know. If, any of you guys follow me, or I'm sure most of you guys probably follow me on some type of social media. The I always like take pictures in all of these. These are really, really awesome. Um, these are CK. Like, woo! Everyone knows CK. Um, these are awesome. Awesome. <laughs> uh, three pack. Um, for like $39.99, really good for CK, right? Um, my friend from Atlanta bought these for me for last Christmas, because he knew I like underwear too. Um, so these are just spectacular. I love the fabric. It is just so comfortable. Um, aside from that, like I said, these don't really hold any significance. They were a Christmas gift, um, as a lot of my underwear were uh, Christmas gifts, which is really, really great. Absolutely love these. Um, and it's a three pack for $39.99. You can find it on the website. Uh, this, these two um, are the other two um, from Ralph Lauren. Particularly like these because of the black and the red horse here. Red horse is fucking awesome, as it is with everything. Back in university, I used to be obsessed with Ralph Lauren. When I tell you I had everything Ralph Lauren, like socks, underwear, shirts, pants, shoes, like everything. 
since then I've gotten out of it but I still like the underwear they're real nice and then this was the third one of the pack so just the gray you know I, I like them but I think on my next excursion when I do decide to go get some more um, they're gonna be not as flimsy you know they're gonna be much much tighter I need them much tighter uh, I just feel like I can get a lot more done when they're like that versus when they feel like shorts on top of shorts uh, I just I just can't do it but I still love them um, aha. I particularly like these because of the coloration um, I it reminds me of Texas I used to live in Texas for a while and just with that T there with the star just from Lone Star State uh, I don't know I can <laughs> These are also the same ones that um, the Asian pair of underwear, like I say, look very, very good. Oh my God, I just love them. They feel awesome. And I used to, you know, for a long time, used to be like weary of trying these type of underwear out, but dude, like I'm telling you, they are amazing. Absolutely love those. Uh, <laughs> now these, <laughs> uh, these, are like the shortest pair of underwear that I own. So much so that they are, they look like, I don't even know which. <laughs> One of my friends called them panties. Like they, I mean, they are really, really, really short. Um, I don't know what you would do in these. Um, I don't know, but I like them. I like them. Um, soft material as well. Uh, Wang Zhang is the maker of them um and they're, they're good they're awesome like i really don't have any bad things to say about them they stretch they're very comfortable they're really really short though so i mean like if you know you don't like too much shortness then you probably wouldn't like them but I mean, they're awesome um also on amazon you know so along with all of the other asian pair of underwear that i have uh, this particular pair here is my only, would you believe it, my only pair of American Eagle underwear, right? Crazy. Um, this was actually a birthday gift uh, this year that I got from one of my friends who lives in Hawaii. Um, he, uh, uh, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the fact that they, they come down so long if they were shorter they will be like at the top of my list because white is my favorite color um, and white and gray together is just like a gift from God but I, I mean I still like them but they're they're really really long so they're it's always scruffing um, when my hair on my legs grows back and stuff and it kind of just really really irritates me so like the only time I will wear these if like I'm completely shaved on my legs so but they're awesome absolutely love them Great, great color, just amazing. Um, this particular pair, same as the other Asian ones that I have, are the Private Structure. These, I think I have the most abundant of. These are definitely swimming trunks. <laughs> they're underwear, but they're like swimming trunks. Um, and I absolutely love these. These are just great. Um, I have two more, actually four. So here's the other pair of private structure blue and gray blue white gray then we have oh absolutely love this these pair here purple is like my second favorite color well actually my third favorite color orange is my second and the deep purple of these are just beautiful and when they're on your body like they just look so much better too love those um i don't like this color as much um, I thought I had, I do have another pair, but I, I don't know, it kind of looks like puke yellow. Like, you know, somebody drunk too much, um, I don't really know what's too yellow or something. I don't know, it's like some horrible combination of apple juice and stuff and somebody mixed it with liquor and they threw up and it's kind of like that color. But I mean, aside from the color, the underwear is still nice. So I don't wear these as much, but you know. It's just the color, it's a, that's all. Um, here is another like Texas pair almost. Um, it's a little darker of a yellow, um, 
which I do wear these more frequently than those, but I like the coloration, the blue and yellow. Um, isn't that someone's colors? What school colors is that? I'm not sure. But um, yeah, these are awesome. So Texas type style, Lone Star with the stars on them. Really, really great. Uh, aha, red and white. There we are, red and white. You know, up until recently, I used to despise red because my sister always wore it. But I don't know, as I got old, I kind of like the color a little bit more. So I've been wearing them here and there. Uh, but yeah, pretty nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, looks like I only got a couple of more that I can talk to you guys about, but I will do that once this commercial has been aired. See you in a sec. Hey guys, welcome back. So yeah, as I was saying, I only got a few more so we can go ahead and wrap it up, you know? So I'll tell you about the last couple of pair of underwear that I actually own. Um, let's see here. I guess I'll bring these in. This, if you guys remember from last week's episode, is was my very first pair of Lo-Fi Mini underwear. Um, I actually had them on, showing you how they feel out, which is really, really great. I, like I said in my last video, I was, I was like really hectic, I had some reservations, I mean, I'm sorry, not hectic. I was really um, hesitant and had some reservations about the underwear, but once they're on, perfect. Absolutely love them. That's Love by Mini. If you like them, you can check out my page, see how they look. You can even look at the previous episode to see how they fit on me. So they give you a kind of an idea of how they would fit on you. Awesome. Definitely go check them out. And they have a wider assortment of colors and everything. So I think you'll be really happy. Um, here's my other pair of V Sport. Love, love, love. Blue, red, blue, red. <laughs> Um, actually, I think this was my first pair of blue of uh, V Sport. This was the very first pair that my best friend bought me, um, and they're awesome. These are even softer than the red ones. I don't even understand why, but they're great. <laughs> um, this is another pair of the Toot or T O O T. I'm not really sure how they pronounce it, but I love this. It's the red and black and like a little bit of dark blue in there so they're really really good i wear these a lot i don't know why they just they just feel great too so i i frequently wear those <laughs> um here is the other of the calvin klein all white ooh, ooh, ooh. favorite color favorite color absolutely love these they're great the only thing about well there's really nothing bad about you know just being in white but you know they're just like for some reason they're not i don't know the other ones are a little bit softer this still feels the same but it just seems like the other two are, are a lot softer um this is i don't even know the name of them they're they're called um black yeah and I remember I was in Stockbridge. No, I was not in Stockbridge. I was in Marietta. And I was at Route 21. And that is where I got these from. Um, they're actually really decent to be from Route 21. Um, I bought them in a pack of two. Um, and they were maybe like $12. I don't know. Not, I don't even think they were that much, but I thought it was just really cool. I'm very into aerospace and um, the universe, so I thought that this would be, you know, really, really cool. It reminded me of the Aurora Borealis that occur in the mesosphere layer, layer of our atmosphere, so I was like, oh, I gotta have these. So these are really good, too. I love those. Uh, and this is the other pair that came with them. I don't really know what they were going on with this one here, but I thought that the gray, uh, lime, the gray, teal, green, and black were awesome colorations with the spectrum. And I said, like, oh, well, yeah, got the universe, nice color spectrum, I'm gonna buy these. Really nice. Marietta, Georgia, uh, Route 21. So I'm pretty sure they probably have them at any local Route 21s if you guys have that in your area. Um, this is my only pair of all green underwear. Not a big fan of green, but 
but uh, yeah, green and gray, still pretty nice. V Sport, awesome underwear. I'm telling you, if any of you guys live in Oxford, chances are I know you. So just text me and I'll tell you where to get these because these are great. <laughs> um, and here is a off gray, off white type color of the V Sport. Love, love, love. Awesome, awesome. I didn't even remember I had that many pairs of these, but thanks to Kelvin, I do. And they're great. Um, this pair was also an Asian pair. And I thought these look so cool, right? Um, one of my best friends, same best friend actually got these for me. Um, actually, I think they're inside out. Oh uh, yeah, they are. This is what they look like. Still look the same. <laughs> But yeah, these are really, really great. I think these might be the second shortest pair that I actually own. Um, but they're, they're awesome and they feel really, really good. They're also on um, Amazon and eBay and everything. They're just 85, um, 85, 58. So that thing. Um, and this <laughs> is one of my favorite pair of my underwear. Um, <laughs> This was a Christmas gift from my good, 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 good friend, Gina, um, from Atlanta. I fucking love Gina. I miss her so, so much since I moved here to Bradenton. But she and her daughters bought me this in a combination of uh, this and some wine and everything. It was just an awesome, heartfelt Christmas gift, and I really, really appreciate it. Anyone who knows me knows that I am a... <sighs> I am just a Star Wars fanatic. Um, actually, I have a pair of, uh, uh, what do you call them, things? Uh, damn it. You know, the uh, things you sleep in, uh, sleeping pants, whatever. I don't know what they're fucking called, I forgot. But I have a pair that are Star Wars too. So I fucking love Star Wars. Um, it's just an amazing franchise. Franchise. I didn't really care for Han Solo or anything, but still, these are my second favorite pair of underwear. So, um, as promised, I will. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite pair of underwear that I actually have on now. Um, and as you probably guessed from people who were keeping up with the underwear that I had, the last last pair is <laughs> these. The Black Kelvin Klein. I think these are just God sent. Like, they just make my body look great. They're awesome. Wouldn't you agree? Like, super soft. Just as the other ones, like I was saying. They look amazing. <laughs> and I love, love, love how short they are. I love that they're right here. They don't come down any further. I love how it just kind of grips everything. It's just, it's just perfect. <laughs> so these are my all time favorite pair of underwear that I actually own, um, that I frequently wear uh, just for the hell of it because I can. So if you guys love CK, please, please get a pair of these underwear. They're just, ah, they're amazing. I freaking freaking love them <laughs> so yeah totally get into those um, but yeah so I hope I didn't bore you guys to death <laughs> and I hope for like people who love underwear as much as I do you probably got something out of this you probably saw a couple of pair of underwear that you might be interested in um, you can definitely write me on any outlets and ask um, about where I got them from and I'd be glad to tell you where I got them from. So as promised at the very end of the episode, I was going to announce the winner of the free pair of underwear from Love by Mini. Drum roll, please. And it's not really a drum, it's more of a I don't really know what you call it. It's like a sawboard or something. I don't know. <laughs> Since I don't really have much meat there. Uh, but the winner of the Love by Mini pre pair underwear was none other than Landon Thomas. <laughs> Which is so crazy uh, because he is someone I went to high school with. He's a year older. 
Uh, and he's someone that I frequently keep in contact with in regards to just the most random ass shit. So I know he's gonna be super excited that he wore, or I'm sorry, that he won the free pair of underwear. I wonder if they're gonna look the same on him because Landon's a little bit smaller than me. But hey, who knows? right so i really really want to thank everyone who tuned in for last week's episode and everyone who entered to win the free pair but hey there can only be one winner unfortunately we don't have that many pairs of underwear to go around if we did we would do it all the time <laughs> uh but yes so all you have to do is we're going to be doing this frequently where i have underwear that you are able to win. I will let you know on the episodes prior to, so that way you can always go in and feel to be one of the winners. Um, but I just wanna take the time out to actually thank everyone at NYPS, um, the things that they have been doing these past few months, past year, past several years have just been awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I, I'm actually truly blessed to be a part of that awesomeness. Um, for many of you who don't know, I actually kind of spearheaded one of the uh, uh, food drives for the LGBTQ homeless youth. Uh, I think it was two years ago, and it was great. It was fun. It was it was an exciting project, um, and those type of things are just the small things that NYPS is doing. They're doing an amazing, amazing job. Um, we have so many great people a part of the organization, um, and I just, I just. I'm happy and I want to continue to see it just blossom into what I know it can be. Um, and I also want to take the time out to, to thank the production team. Like these guys are working day and night. They're getting things done. Um, no questions asked. They're not complaining about anything. They're not asked. You know, it's just, it's amazing. It's so amazing. And the number of people it takes to get everything together, most people don't even realize. So to NYPS, to my production team, like you guys are fantastic. Fucking love you. You know, if you need me to do anything else, I'll do it, you know, within reason. I have no issues with doing it. <laughs> and also, and lastly, I want to really, really thank you, um, the viewers, the people who are actually taking the time out to sit and watch me talk about random shit in my bedroom in Bradenton, Florida. Um, either you're really, really bored and have nothing to do, or you just love being supportive of me. Which, either way, I don't care. I really, really appreciate it. It means the world to me to have that love and support. Um, and I will try to definitely return that love and support in any way that I possibly can. And with that being said, I really want you guys to reach out and utilize the um, email that you can reach me at, which is anthony at nypsnetwork.com to just, you know, Anything you want to talk about, anything that you may want to discuss, um, questions, comments, concerns about this show, previous shows, oncoming shows, just any anything. Um, you can even throw out ideas about topics that you would want me to talk about, anything of the sort. Um, it's, it's really for you, and it's for me as well. I would love to hear back from all of you guys. It would mean the world to me. And also, if you are... Um, following me on my Facebook page, uh, you will see, that's in the comments in this video, um, I am going to start having days sh uh, day after um, videos on there, just kind of talking about, or a little group that we would have to talk about the episode that you guys will be viewing on Sundays. So I'm really excited about that. I hope you guys are gonna definitely tune in for it. I think it's gonna be sweet. I need that interaction. I need to know, you know, what you guys think. So it doesn't make it seem like I'm just crazy and sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, I hope everyone has a beautiful Sunday and I really, really hope your week is prosperous. Um, do good things, make good choices. I will see you guys later. See ya. <laughs>